Hey guys, I want to introduce you to Mr. Higgins here. He is a uh, English setter, a really beautiful one. They're all really beautiful, actually. Um, and he comes from the same rescue that Royal came from, the Southwest uh, English Setter Rescue. And uh, he's here because he has a bite history. And, um, you know, the, uh, looking over his records, the thing about this guy, he's actually already been trained. He's been through training. But he already knows how to do things. So training is teaching a dog how to do something, whether it's like a sit or a stay. So that is training. Training is created by humans for humans. And so my goal is not to teach him, but more importantly, how to reach him. And so he has a really big sensitivity to to uh, being touched in the back. And, you know, uh, Royal was the same way, and he's still very sensitive. You have to do it a very certain way. Uh, we have, or well, Michelle has figured out ways how to uh, desensitize him to that by putting things in his mouth, like a, a toy, so he bites onto that instead of like redirecting on us. So with this guy, I'm gonna show you here really quick on some of the things that he does, because one of the things that the previous owner that surrendered him um, didn't, they said he would attack without, um, without warning. And people think that the growl is the only, only warning. However, there's other things, other signs that dogs give you that tell you that they're uncomfortable. And I'll show you what that looks like without, without getting bit, obviously. Hey, Gens. Come here, buddy. Come on. Good. So I want you to look at something really quick, okay? So see how his mouth is open? So when I see how he starts to close his mouth when I touch his black backside right there? That's a sign that he's being uncomfortable. It's very subtle, right? So right here, he's uncomfortable with me touching his backside right here, okay? So he, he see how he, he, I'm gonna see how right there, that's a sign right there that he's uncomfortable with that. So that is, that he is giving you signs. They just weren't able to recognize them. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys some of the things. With, I'm gonna work with this guy. He's like the only dog that I have to work with right now. So I'm gonna work with this. I'm gonna show you from beginning to end. And one of the things that I wanna do with him is we're gonna muzzle condition him, get him used to a muzzle. Um, I'm gonna take him on, on um, I'm about to take him on a bike ride right now. We're gonna go to the river and kind of just let him run out there. The reason for that is because he's got really high anxiety in the crate. I can show you some videos when he first got dropped off on um, Friday. And hi, buddy. And so um, I'm going to show you how he was, and then I'm going to show you by exercise and f fulfilling him, him how that can help out with his anxiety, and how that we can put him in a crate, and so he gets very comfortable with being inside the crate. Okay. So that's what he has really high anxiety. He has a bite history, um, and so you know, for me, it's more about figuring out like, like what we can do so that he doesn't do those things and also get him used to a muzzle that's going to be a, a no-brainer because we have we have taken the vet he's going to get really uncomfortable um with people touching him and so basically want to um get him to be more comfortable with that but he may still be sensitive to those things but what i don't want him to do is, is try and bite and if he happens to do at least we have a muzzle that can protect us it's not only to protect him it's to protect the vets whoever wants to touch him and whatnot but we're gonna have fun with this guy. Um, again, he already knows a lot of stuff. If you notice, like he, his recall is really good. So I don't need, really need to work on that. Oh, and also he has a, um, that he can't be around a dog. So that's actually being another thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna work with him to be around uh, some of our dogs. Now we already took him on the walk with our dogs. Um, he didn't seem intense, but that doesn't mean that he doesn't, would want to go after them. He was close to them. He didn't want to like, he was walking with them, like no big deal. Um, and that's how we started off. We start with the walk. We move together so that we kind of uh, go in the same direction without having to like go forward to him and, and, and trying or going forward towards the dogs and trying to bite them. He didn't do any of that stuff. Now, there was a dog on the other side of the fence that started barking and he kind of moved forward towards. Um, but we're just going to, again, muzzle condition him so that he doesn't bite through the dogs and start introducing him to dogs one by one. We'll probably do Nala first, then Honey. Uh, maybe Hero and Emma, because Hero and Emma won't really care for him. Uh, we'll probably do Nala and, I'm sorry, we'll probably do Frankie and Luna last, because those are the two dogs that would, um, if they feel threatened, they would do something back, because they don't put up with crap like that. So, um, so we just try to keep it safe. Where did he go? Hey, buddy. Higgins, come on. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Anyways, so again, this is Mr. Higgins. Look forward to sharing his story uh, with you guys and see how he does. Say bye, buddy. Bye.